Hi there, I just wanted to show something I've been experimenting with um, for the last... Well, it's been on my mind for over a week and I'm, I've been experimenting with it for the last day or so. It's by no means complete. I'm just trying to see if there's... if it's got any merit because if it has I'll build it into a fixed... a fixed unit. It's just a cap dump. So it's running through an oscillator. So it's a 12 volt cap dump which runs through three different stages or three stages before it gets to the battery. Um, I'm just driving it, sending it through a, your, your basic USB um, 3.7 volt lithium ion. Uh, and this is just a low input oscillator, radiant oscillator that I'm using to drive it. Now the um, this is using the capsule discharge devices I came up with last year. And what it's doing is it's sending it through the first one onto the second and at the moment I'm just going into the battery from the second. So it's actually a 12 volt device but I'm only going in with three 3.7 volts. So here it's climbing up to I think it's getting over 35 volts anyway. So, so it's charging the cap and then when it gets to a certain voltage the bulbs start to I don't know if you can see that, that one's starting to flash there. I've only just noticed that. So I've not actually seen them do that before, that's interesting. So yeah, uh, and it's sending it through these two. These are halogens. These are these are the 240 volt halogens. The 3 watt, they work out with 3 watt. These can work, these basically do the same things as what the LEDs can do. Uh, so what it does is it switches and then what it does is it tells the transistors when to switch the transistors have to be matched you have to match everything here so matching the transistors uh, the bulbs tell the transistors when to switch and then it goes from collector to emitter and then dumps it straight into the battery there's the uh, battery voltage the reading for the battery and there's the cap there's the um, the 15,000 there, the, the one in the middle there. So the next thing to do would be to try this on a, a higher, a larger setup. If the bulbs come on, then it destroys your efficiencies. Because you, the idea is to, you don't want them to come on and stay on. If they flash, it's okay. Because they're basically acting like a trigger. Uh, what this thing does is it duplicates, it mimics John Bedini's comparator. The way that the, his 555 and his comparator works, the way he built that, this does the same thing as it reverts the charge disruptive. It's better because it's pro it's better for the battery because it properly switches the radiant. Because a lot of the cap dumps don't actually do that, whereas this thing does. Uh, so, if the bulbs come on and stay on, then you need more bulbs. You just keep adding the bulbs until they stop stop coming on and staying on because what that's doing it's raising the potential even higher. So it takes the potential much higher. I mean this thing, I'm only going in with 3.7 volts, but this thing's this thing's just underneath 60 volts, it's telling me about 55 on average. Just underneath 60 and that'll climb even higher. The spike climbs higher depending on the load you put it, you subject it to. So the next plan of action would be to hook this up to the the two on the end here, uh, and then to the three the three transistors, and then to the battery. But at that point, you probably need a. I don't know if this will have enough juice to enough power to send it through through that load. But I'm going to give that a go, and then try it with a larger setup. But interesting that I've not seen them do that before. I've not seen them all flash. It's 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 faintly doing it at a higher input. It'll they'll probably do it to a greater extent. But if it comes on and stays on, I'll just add more bulbs. But if this thing's got any any you know more merit, what I'll do is I'll build it. I'll build it, fix it down, test it out, and then I'll make the drawing available for anyone that wants it anyway. So anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for listening to me ramble on, so thanks a lot there. Bye for now.